Okay, this video is on multiplying terms, so some multiplying algebraic terms. Before you watch this video, I'd recommend watching two videos. One of them is on uh, algebraic notation, so that sort of explains what something like 5w means, okay? So that means 5 times w, okay? And uh, the other video that I'd recommend would be the um, video on indices, okay? So that explains, for instance, if you had x to the power of 3, and you times it by x to the power of 2, that you add the powers and you get x to the power of 5. So to watch the video on algebraic notation to see that, that, that if you had something like 5 times w, it's equal to 5w. And uh, the video on multiplying algebra or in indices uh, to see that x to the power of 3 times x to the power of 2 would be x to the power of 5. Okay, whenever I'm multiplying terms in algebra, what I do is I multiply the numbers together and then multiply the letters together. So for instance, if I had something like 5w times 4, I would times the numbers together first of all. So you've got 5 times 4. So 5 times 4 is 20. And then you times that by w, so it's 20, and there's no other letters, so it's just 20w. If you had something, for instance, like 3p times 7, again, you'd multiply the numbers together, so 3 times 7 is 21p. Okay, but what if you had something like a times w? So this time we have no numbers. So if you do a times w, do remember that if you uh, in algebra you don't write the multiplication sign, so it would just be a w. So you just sort of put them together. So a times w is a w. If you had something like 5a times 4w, again you would multiply the numbers together. So 5 times 4 is 20. And then you've got a times w, which is a w. So the answer is 20aw. So the key thing here is that you multiply the numbers together and you multiply the letters together. So you do 5 times 4 is 20 and aw is aw and then you just put the whole thing together. However, if I was doing something like 5y times 2c, one thing to remember is that whenever you times letters together you try to put your answer in alphabetical order. So here I would do 5 times 2 which is 10. But if I was to do y times c, okay, instead of writing 10yc, because C becomes before Y in the alphabet, you would actually write 10CY, okay? So it would be 10CY. Now, technically, 10YC is the same as 10CY, but it's just sort of better um, a better habit to sort of write it in alphabetical order rather than not in alphabetical order. Okay, so if it was 4A times 6C times 2W, again, you'd multiply the numbers together first of all. So 4 times 6 is 24, times 2 is 48. So it's going to be 48, and then you've got A times C times W, so you just put them in order. Let's do it in alphabetical order. Well, actually, they are in alphabetical order, A, C, W, so the answer will be 48, A, C, W. Okay, this time we're going to look at 4Y times 2Y. Now, again, you multiply the numbers together first of all, so 4 times 2 is 8. Now, you need to be careful here, Y times Y. Now, some people write 8yy, but that's sort of not a uh, proper notation, or it's not the right way that you'd write it in maths, okay? Remember, y times itself is y squared, okay? The video on algebraic notation will sort of show you that. So, y times y is y squared. So, the answer would be 8y squared. Likewise, if you had something like 3w times uh, 2w, again, 3 times 2 is 6, and w times w is w squared. If you had something like 5w times w, because there's, well, some people think there's no number in front of this, there's technically a 1 in front of this, 1w is the same as w. So 5 times 1 is 5, so in other words the number just stays the same, and w times w would be w squared again. Okay, So if there's not a number in front of it, you just times the w by w, w squared, and put the 5 in front. And finally, if you had something like uh, w times w times 2w, this time, again, let's multiply the numbers in front. So 1 times 1 times 2 is 2. Remember, if there's no number in front, there's technically a 1 there because w is the same as 1w. You just write w. So 1 times 1 times 2 is 2. And w times w times w. So from the indices video, again, what's the 1 in algebraic notation? Sorry. So w times w times w. Well, that would be w cubed. So that would be 2w cubed. Okay, and let's look at a few more examples. So if you had 4x squared times 5x cubed, again you multiply the numbers in front, so 4 times 5 is 20, 
And watch the video on indices now for this part. If you had x squared times x to the 3, remember you add the powers, so that would be x to the 5. Okay? This one, uh, you've got 2, you don't have any other numbers, so it's going to be 2. And then x to the 3 times x to the 4, you add the powers, so that would be x to the 7. And finally, if you had something like 2x times 3x squared, or cubed, um, the x stands for x to the power of 1. Okay, so there really is a power of 1 here. Okay, so you'd add the powers, so you'd get or 2 times 3 is 6. And then x to the 1 times x to the 3 would be x to the 4. Okay, now this 1 won't be written here, it'd be written as 2x. Okay, so if you ever have x times x to the 3 or x times any x to the whatever, you can put a little 1 there and add the powers together and you'd get 6x to the 4. Okay, and we'll just finish off with two last examples. If you had 3xy times 2xy, again multiply the numbers in front, so 3 times 2 is 6. Now let's multiply the x's together, so you've got x times x, which would be x squared. You've got y times y, which would be y squared. So the answer would be 6x squared, y squared. And our final example is if you had 4x squared y cubed times 5x squared y. Now normally you wouldn't get anything as tricky as this on the foundation tier. Higher tier, definitely. Uh, so 5 times 4, or 4 times 5 is 20 x to the 2 times x to the 2, well, you add the powers, so that would be x, 2 plus 2 is 4, so x to the 4. And then y3 times y, remember that's y to the power of 1, so you do 3 plus 1 to give you y to the power of 4. So the answer would be 20, x to the power of 4, y to the power of 4.